Welcome to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joex The Body Coach, and this is a 20 minute hotel hit workout. I'm here in Devon. I've got a beautiful view overlooking the sea, and I thought, why not do a 20 minute hit session to show you can really do it anywhere, at any time with no equipment. And this really is a beginner's workout, so it's low impact, 30 seconds on an exercise, followed by 30 seconds rest. I'm gonna demonstrate good technique, really explain things um, gradually and slowly, so you really pick up the technique points and the the kind of forms to make sure you're getting the best out of each exercise. So when you go onto the channel and do more workouts, you can do them safely and correctly and get the most out of it. First exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a squat. So we're gonna sit down, imagine the chair behind us, keeping our back straight, sitting down into the chair. If you can, obviously get to 90 degrees. If you can't, if you only can do a sort of shallow rep, that's fine. We bend the knees, lower ourselves towards the ground and we drive through the heels of our feet. So through the heels, up, and that's a good squat. And one thing you wanna look out for, is if your knees are sort of caving in. So some people will find that you know one knee might cave in and you sort of collapse into the squat, but drive those knees out and really squeeze your glutes as you come up. So squeeze your glutes and your quads and activate all the muscles in your legs. It's really gonna help. So here we go. 30 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds rest. Okay, so here we go, five seconds. Sort of shoulder width apart, turn the feet out slightly. So slowly lower yourself down and stand, so side on, slowly lower into that squat, drive through the heels as you come up, and remember, you want to control the move, rather than dropping into it and not using any muscles, like slowly lower, control, more time under tension, drive the knees out and then squeeze at the top, slowly down, tension, and up. Remember, you may not have the mobility to get really low, but that's fine, you're gonna increase them as you get into it, your joints will open up. So we have a rest now, we're gonna go into that and do a second set. So another thing you might find is that as you squat, you're coming onto your tiptoes. So you're sort of, um, and this is because of either the mobility in your ankle here, or tightness in the calf. So if you're finding that, that you're coming onto your tiptoes, take the feet wider and just turn them out a little bit. That will allow you to sit a bit deeper into the squat. So here we go, second set. So sitting low and up, good. Sit low and stand up nice and tall. Perfect. So inhale on the way down and then exhale as you come up. And this can be made much harder as well just by doing a little pause at the bottom there. So if you want to make it a bit more intense, sit down into the squat, hold for a second and up. And remember, I'm driving those knees out, driving those knees out and relax, brilliant, right. Perfect, so that's a good technique on the squat. Just think about those points as you go through it. We're now gonna do a reverse lunge. So we're starting with our feet together. Another great exercise for the lower body is a step back. It's a lunge, so you're reverse lunging. You're actually, rather than step forward into it, it kind of, you can cheat a little bit. This one's a bit harder, so you're gonna, it's harder, but you're it's easier to stabilize. So more control, so here we go. 30 seconds starting now. And what I'm doing is feet together, looking straight ahead. I'm bending the knees. And you may not be able to come right down. Oh, it does take some balance like I'm doing. Even if you're doing like a little shallow lunge, it's fine, because this will open up, your back hip flexor will open up. And eventually you'll be able to get right down. And if you say I'm not leaning forward and collapsing into it, I'm keeping my back straight. You know, shoulders back, chest up and relax, brilliant. So we're gonna do that again, same again. Shake your legs off. One thing you might find is that when you lunge, this is a little bit wobbly, and so you've really got to really think about activating this, and as you step back, trying to stabilize that knee, don't have it all wobbling. So actively think, right, straight knee as I come down. And you might find that one side is stronger than the other, that's, that's totally normal. So, second set of lunges, feet together, Step back and forwards, good. So what we do is we drive through the heel of the front foot. So we don't want to come up onto our toes and push like that. Keep the weight in the heels, it's gonna fire up your quads. So big step back, perfect. Step, brilliant. We're doing 30 seconds on this one, then we've got another 30 seconds rest before we move on to our next exercise. Brilliant, right. Next one we're gonna do is called a mountain climb, but we're gonna do a low, 
a kind of low impact, slow down version of a mountain climber. Now a mountain climber, if I'm really going for it, is like this, look. That's quite intense, quite difficult if you haven't done it. I've got a wedgie here, on. Right, so we're gonna do it in slow motion. From here, let's go in, out. In, out, off we go. So knee in and out. Knee in and out. And this is really working your upper body strength, but also your core. Your abs are having to work hard. And if you notice my back straight, I'm not up here like this. That's cheating, and I'm not like down here with an arch back. I'm locking that back straight, strong, by squeezing my glutes and my abs and bracing those muscles in my core. Just nice and slow. Slow. Now if you're finding this really difficult in your wrists, because a lot of people sometimes don't have the mobility, just do a few little warm-up exercises, a few sort of circles with the wrist. And if you wanted to as well, you could elevate, you could put a little step here or a couple of yoga blocks to, to elevate that angle so it's less pressure. If you're higher up, you're not putting as much of your body weight through the wrist. So we're going again, same exercise, nice and slow. This is a beginner's one, but you still want to get a little sweat on. So in, out. Shake it all about, good. So nice and slow. So this is challenging your core and your shoulders, your chest, your triceps. So this is a great little exercise. And when you do it slow like this, it really intensifies like the, the, the the abs work in when you bring in the up and hold and out. Oh, wow. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be what I call a slow motion burpee. So a burpee, an intense one, like a full, a full burpee would be chest to ground. You go hands down, up. We're doing a slow motion burpee, so much more simple. Hands hit the ground, walk back, Walk up, and then up. Okay, so off we go. Step back, step your hands forward, so your feet forward, hands in the air, and repeat. Step, step, go at your pace, and just stand up tall each time. Step back, step up, good. Step, step, and reach up. Last 10 seconds, brilliant. Keep working. And up, good. Last one for, for the win. Right, perfect. So that's our slow motion burpee. And then we're gonna work up, obviously in future workouts to sort of doing it quicker. And then the full burpees and explosive ones and squat jumps and all sorts. But this is about, I mean, look, I'm still out of breath, even though I'm not going full speed. I'm working my muscles, I'm elevating my heart rate, I'm burning energy. So same again, second set. Slow mo burpees. So step back, step up, and reach good. Let's try and go a little bit quicker now. Down, down, up, up, and reach good. Perfect, keep it going. 10 seconds on the clock. How many can you do in 10 seconds? It's all about you pushing yourself against the clock. Doing as many reps as you can. Last one. Brilliant. So don't be disheartened if I'm doing more or you're doing more. If you're doing more, great. But if I'm going a bit too quick, just go at your own pace. And yeah, focus on technique and your breathing. Okay, next exercise on the ground. We're gonna do some box push-ups. So rather than a full push-up, which is obviously feet and knees off the ground. Sorry, not feet off the ground, knees off the ground. We're gonna go knees on the ground, bend the elbows, and up, off we go. So bend those elbows. And if you see, I'm not, I'm not like flaring my elbows really wide like this. I'm keeping them a little bit narrow because it really does focus on your triceps. It is harder when you keep the elbows tucked in, but it's gonna really target the back of the arms. And you can't cheat as well. And the same thing, I'm not just dropping down I'm slowly controlling, I'm controlling the movement all the way down and pressing. Last one. Good, and again, that does 
even though I'm on my knees, it's still tough because I'm doing it that, with that technique, but don't, um, don't just drop into it. And at the same time, if you can't get all the way down, let's just say you're only getting to here, look, like a quarter or a half of the rep. That's still good, it's still better than you know, having your back arch and trying to do full ones. Like, keep your abs tight, bend the elbows until you feel like you can't get up and then push. Here we go, second set. So you go down and push. Slowly down and push, keeping those abs tight. And I'm not just lifting, I'm not just sort of throwing myself down, I'm taking my whole body to coming down with it. All of that weight is coming forwards into my arms. Ugh. Bend those elbows. It's tough, this is really tough, even when I'm doing them on my knees, this is, this is difficult. Because I'm doing those slow, controlled reps, I'm making my arms basically work harder than if I was just drop in and bounce off the floor. Right, up we get. Next exercise, we're gonna do a squat into a knee, okay? So basically, we're gonna squat down, like we were before, and then drive the knee up and across. So we squat down, drive up and across. And when you squat, don't let those knees cave in. Drive them out. Here we go, so at low impact, we go squat, knee, land gently. Squat, knee, and you're bringing that knee up and across the body, so you're almost hitting the elbow if you can. And squat down, knee up, good. Squat, knee, we've got another. We've got 10 seconds on the clock from now. Good, squat, knee, squat, knee. Last couple of seconds, one more. And rest, good, right. Doing brilliantly. We've got nine minutes to go. So same again, second set. Just from the side so you can see. I'm using my elbows as a marker. And I sort of get to elbow to the knee. Knee, and then up and across. You should feel that in your abs as well. You can sort of bring that knee across your body. It is activating your abs. Here we go, second set. Squat, knee. Squat, knee, good. Go at your own pace and your own depth. If you notice, I'm not, I'm not just like bouncing up. I'm coming down and I'm driving up through my heels. I'm controlling the way up and the way down. Always in control of the squat. Good squat. Last one. Have a brilliant. Okay. Next one I want to do is out on the ground this time. Nice and simple. We're going to do a plank from our elbow. So this is great for our core strength. Um, you can, you've got two options really. You can do it elbows on the floor and completely off the ground with the knees. Or if that's too hard, you go knees on the ground and you brace from there and you lift up. So here we go, your options. All right, so I'm going to try to do the full plank. And the key here is I'm not, I'm not dipping my body like this and just stretch, stretching my and stressing my lower back. Or I'm not up in here, just sort of not feeling it in the abs. I'm bum down, back straight. I'm squeezing my bum. I'm squeezing my quads, and I'm pulling my tummy up, and really pulling all those muscles. This is all your your corset. This is like the muscle that brings your tummy nice and flat, strengthens your all your mid 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 core and, and rest. So yeah, it's strengthening all through here. So you've got to imagine your, you know, you've got a string on your belly button and you're pulling it up towards the ceiling. So really, you have to sort of connect with it because you can be in that position and like not be feeling it at all. You know, like just relaxing. When you really switch it on, you'll feel it. Well, I tell you what, I'm getting sweat on. Look, the floor's getting shiny. Same again then, second set on the plank. Let's go. And if you find that your form is not there and you're shaking and your lower back's hurting, just stay on the knees. And same thing, when you brace from there, pull it up, focus on thinking about using those deep muscles. Good, and squeeze and squeeze and suck it up. You've got 15 seconds. Come on. Yes, hold it. Five seconds to go. And relax, brilliant. Right, 
up we get. Okay, I could do a drink. Next I'm gonna do, nice and simple, it's just a running on the spot, so as fast as you can. You know, you can go high knees if you wanna go a little bit higher, if you wanna just keep those feet moving. It's nice and quick, get your heart rate up, 30 seconds, and you can even just go, you know, really low feet. Don't forget you've got to lift them right up. Let's go, come in, 30 seconds. Nice and quick. Let's get moving. Brilliant. Good, come on, heart rate, push it up. Pump those arms and legs. 15 seconds left. Good effort. Okay, last few seconds. Five to go. Good and relax. Brilliant, right, we've got one more of them. Second set. We're doing well, we've done 15 minutes. We've only got five minutes to go. So keep with me, stay together. If you do need to have a little bit more rest, you can always miss a workout out. So one of the exercises out and have like a four minute rest if you need to. Right, here we go. Second set, fast feet. Let's go nice and quick, come on in 30 seconds. Really quick, pump those arms. Good work, come on, make faster feet, faster sounds, quicker. 10 seconds. Last few seconds, let's go, push. A bit quicker. And relax, good effort. Well done, right. Next up, this is a good exercise. It's called a walkout. So we're gonna start in a standing position. We go hands on the ground. You can obviously go wider with your feet if you want, but hands on the ground. Walk out of like this. And then we're gonna go knee, knee, and walk back and stand up. So here we go, hands on the ground, walk out. Walk out into the plank, right, just hold that a second. And we go knee, knee, and walk those hands back. Perfect. Walking those hands out into the high plank, and then knee, knee, walk back, good. And keep it going. 10 seconds on the clock, let's do two more. Knee, knee. Stand up really tall, stand up completely straight. Final rep, come on. Walk out of me. Knee, knee. Brilliant. And if you find that, that the knee's a bit challenging, it's too difficult, just avoid those, skip that. But hopefully we should all be able to do the walk out. You could just walk to here, look, and walk back. The knee bit obviously is sending you really, it's really sending you off balance and making you really work your core. So same again, second set. Woo. Okay, straight back in. Let's go, so walking out. If you can, do the knee to, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Walk back. And up. Good, walking out. Come on, Joe. Knee, knee. Walk back. Stand up. Walk out to the plank. Knee, knee. This is a great little session. Well done. Come on, last five seconds. Finish on this one. Knee, knee. And relax, perfect, right. Next exercise, it's the final one. We're gonna do what's called a curtsy. A curtsy squat or a curtsy lunge, some people call it. So when we did the reverse lunge earlier on, we went straight back. We just threw the leg back, straight. This time we're gonna come across the body. So imagine you're doing a curtsy to the queen like this. You bring the foot back and across the body, yeah? Off we go. So curtsy lunge. Curtsy lunge, good, and you keep your hands by your side if you want, or keep them out in front of you to balance, or to the side. And if it's similar to the lunge, it's challenging your legs in a slightly different way. Really works the thighs. Perfect. Now I obviously can get quite a big angle in my foot, but if you're just even slightly across, it's perfect. Just a tiny little angle in that step. Just so from behind you can see, I'm not just going straight back. 
and keeping that left foot forwards and we're stepping back and across. So back and across, back and across, good. Right, this is it, last exercise to finish our 20 minute hotel hip workout. I hope you've enjoyed it. Same again, curtsy squats or curtsy lunge to finish. Nice deep breath. I'll do these face lunges and see where my foot's going. Okay, so step back and across, good. Keeping that chest up, look straight ahead. Keep your balance. Brilliant. And again, your mobility as you do these sessions, you progress and come back and do it again. Your joints will open up, you'll have more strength in those in that range. So even if you're nowhere near now with your back foot hitting the ground, so your back knee hitting the ground, the more you do this, the more things are gonna open up. And you're gonna start to feel fantastic. There we go. Talk my way to the end. That's the end of the timer. 20 minutes, you know, low impact. We've got all our muscles working. We've done some upper body, some core, some lower body stuff. A little bit of cardio. I mean, my heart rate, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's going. So it's a great little session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much if you did, or you didn't, or you want some more, give me some more feedback, comment below. Um, please share the videos if you can with your friends and family. Um, have a lovely day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you soon for another workout with me, Joe Wicks, on the Body Coach TV.